right, let's get. Wait, wait, I forgot. I forgot. Oh! Okay. Woo! Now. What's up, everybody, though? Uh, how is everybody doing? My name is Sleepy Snake, and you know. You see this from the video, should you summon on this banner, the new banners that just came out. And uh, we're just gonna go straight into it. We're not gonna hesitate. We're not, we're just gonna get right into it. You boy, you already know, I make all these videos when uh, a new unit comes out or a new banner comes out, should you summon or not. So yeah, y'all know the deal. And let's just, uh, let's just get straight to it. So, I haven't been doing daily summons. I just realized that. Okay. Oh, my battery's up. Mm, nice. So, Alavina. All right. Alavina, Jill, Zorg, Rim, and Rasu. All right, this is on the banner, the new banner that just came out last night, guys, or this morning, whatever time it was for you. Uh, this banner right here, I have a lot of things to say about it. First, let's start off with Alavina, okay? As you know, that she is a water unit, and she does 17k water damage magic for her arts and a high chance of getting an ultimate freeze. Now, let me say this, guys. You know what? Okay. My phone frozen. All right, we can. I can't even finish. I can't even finish it. Wow, my phone frozen. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we're back. Like I was saying, guys, she's probably one of the better freezers than Corsair or Celia. She's probably up there with them, not if better. She's probably right below them, and she's pretty much good as them. Okay. So she has the ultimate freeze, and she has a chance of freezing the enemy when using her skill too. So when you're going against bosses and they have certain effects that they can do to you or your son before that happens she can freeze the enemy anything like that and um and she can stop most of the enemy's abilities by freezing them just want to say that and i know on certain giant bosses uh like plant boss in certain stages and certain uh events that happens with the bosses uh literally they will one hit you and you have to freeze them before they one hit you because you only get a certain amount of time before they want to hit you and they, uh, you got to freeze them or stun them or something like that before that happens. So this, this is a, she wouldn't be bad for that. That's it. You know, you got to think about that kind of stuff. That would be really good to use. Just want to say. Now, let's go into her true arts, Violent Dragon, uh, 28k dark damage magic. Auto fills art gauge by 5 for 20 seconds. High chance of giving disease. Um, now this is my first time, if I'm not mistaken, this is my first time. Having a unit, or not having a unit, or going over a unit with disease, with a disease attack, I like I never seen this, uh, like or unless I have, I just don't remember. But, mmm, I don't, mmm. All right. Anyway, but having a disease and freezing at the same time is kind of a deadly combo for me. If uh, if I'm thinking of it clearly right, um. Cause I don't think I have experienced any disease characters or I have any, if I'm not mistaken. Am I? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, but I know, I should, I think I have, who has disease? I think I saw one with disease, but I know having disease and freeze, actually not a bad combo, you know. But enough of her, we're gonna go to Jill. I think Jill is a great unit, guys, and I think that uh, she's real good to have. She's really strong, real powerful, especially good for Earth Mono. You know, I use her on my Earth Mono team. Um, but yeah, let's get into Zorg. Zorg, um, yo, this man, I, I won't say rip my man Zorg, bro. This man, yo, this dude is just like, <laughs> bro, I just feel so bad for him because, like, you know, nobody doesn't care about Zorg no more, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, who's Zorg, you know? But anyway, um, Rim, a broken Rim, Rim, OG, uh, Waifu, okay, waifu material. Everybody knows about Rim. Um, I feel like uh, for new players, it actually wouldn't be that bad to get Rim um, if you're new to the game. It's clearly, there's other units out better than Rim, but she's actually not that bad with the 25k dark damage magic. If enemy is light, use her own true arts by 100%. And you know, you gotta change it, uh, change out some units uh, using dark units sometimes. Like units, so she actually wouldn't be that bad. It comes in helpful, just take that into consideration. All right, and uh, we're gonna go into Razu. We're not gonna really go into him um, because this man, oh my god. Anyway, uh, but overall, guys, I think this is a good banner. Now, if you've been playing the game for a while, um, and you've been on the streets, you know what I'm saying, been playing this baby since day one. I wouldn't say day one, but but been playing it for a while. 
Uh, it's not worth summoning on this banner. Like, towards veteran players, I guess, it's kind of trash. New players is good. Uh, veteran players, they don't have... If they don't have, uh, Light, Jill, or Alavina, they should have a freezer by now. Y'all guys should have a freezer by now. But if you don't have a freezer, pick her up. Try to pick her. It's worth summoning. Uh, Jill is worth summoning. Um, I wouldn't say you want to go for Zorg, uh, in my opinion. Zorg, that man, uh, put an F in the chat. Put an F in the comments down below for the homie Zorg. Um, but overall, I think Jill and Alvina is real good and real good to have. You can also summon for the true equips too. I recommend summoning for these equips. You never know. You can use any equip for any unit, and it can go good with any unit. You never know what you're going to need, especially Drill True. I don't have it. I would like to have it, but you know, I'm depressed. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, sub, and subscribe, and I am out. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. Stay positive. And um, I love you guys. Keep 100. Peace.